and shit, and you really feeling her, you know what I'm saying? You supposed to like hold back, like I was, but I ain't trying not, to. Not two weeks now. You feel something though, but I think it's levels to it. I think it's levels to it. I'm going with her at 10 o'clock, right? Yeah, like that's cool. You want to keep on going, but like, nah, I ain't trying to confuse her. I'm going to have to hang up the phone and shit. No, 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 no. I think think when it's natural, yeah, I think it's natural in the build. Like, I think, and that's another thing. I think like we create all these rules for ourselves that make the, that make the process unnatural. But I think if you flowing in a natural sense, Cool, but we talking about that dude who be extra pressing, yeah, who's like, force it. like the first two weeks that nigga acting like they married, right. and he like this oh, my girl, and you like, bro, like you just met her, and he like, oh, we getting a bank account together, <laughs> like I'm saying, I'm not exaggerating, oh, like not, I've really seen good. this, like, like we getting a bank account together, yeah. like everybody got a homeboy that's a serial monogamous, oh, he's not gonna cheat, but he's gonna be back to back relationships every single yeah. time, yeah. and he's gonna be hundred percent committed to each relationship. Yeah. That's why I used to be. I used to be. That's why I asked. Yeah, that's why I asked. Yeah, that's why I asked. You was going to. Like, keep it honest. No. I tried. I tried it. Yeah, but that's what it is. Like, like for me, like, for me and my boys, like, I'm I'm glad that I have a set of homeboys that will, like, call me out on my bullshit. And then I try to do the same. Because I feel like if we are going to be better for women, a lot of it is wow. these kind of conversations. Yeah. Right. Because a lot of times, like, what people don't understand is sometimes niggas just don't know. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, 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 and that comes from not having a father figure in their lives or, or, like, or like somebody in their lives that really like, let me put you on game. Let me show you the road. Right. Some right. people just winking it like just going off their own experience. Like, uh, you know yeah. what I say a lot of times, too, is the single moms. They over baby their sons. Ooh. True. Yeah. And they... The son see them struggling like with a man or whatever they issues with men. So I know women that's like, I'm cool on dudes. Like I ain't fucking a dude, the nigga did this, whatever, whatever. But then I know girls like, this nigga did this, so I'm just gonna hoe out. And I, I think I was telling you like a minute ago. So the, the sons are like, I'm peeping game. Like, so they grow up like, I'm either gonna be a player, pimp, whatever, or I'm gonna really treat my woman like yeah, gold. Right. Yeah. And they go, ex- and it's like extreme. Like, I'm gonna fuck over every woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I'm gonna just be like super committed. Like, right. I'm getting a bank account three weeks right. into the relationship. Yeah, so yeah, it's I the woman, I don't wanna blame women, but really, like, sometimes women fuck men over. Mm. And they don't know it because they trying to, they trying to overcompensate, overcompensate because the daddy wasn't the daddy there and shit yeah. like that. Yeah, right. And they grow up like, the, the young boys grow up. Teenagers, young and you know men, what? And what I do, I, t- I tell a lot of like single mothers who like to make a statement like I'm the mama and the daddy, yeah, you and, and I can I teach them. I could, I know. You know, on Father's Day, Happy Father's Day to Stop me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. like yeah. my thing is this: oh, like, yeah. like you can be the best mother ever. <clears throat> like you can be the best supreme. But there are just certain things a woman's not gonna be able to teach a boy about being absolutely. a man. Exactly. Same absolutely. way there's things I'm not gonna be able to teach my daughters about being yeah, a yeah, woman. Absolutely. And that's okay. And you accept that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like that's that's the problem is the fact that they don't have anybody to teach them how to grow into being a man. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, like I said, I, I even tell like some of my single homegirls, I'm like, at least get a man, like if it's an uncle or somebody at church that you a mental. A that get a, a, male, a positive yeah. male mentor, yeah. like cause there's things yeah. like yeah. Like Respectful. all the time, you don't want his mama. Like especially when you become a teenager, you don't want your mama taking you to the yeah. barbershop right. and yeah. boy trying to have boys talking. Yeah. Especially if your mama fine and all the niggas oh, in yeah, there yeah, on yeah, your mom. Yeah, like yeah. you don't want that. I'm like like so, get somebody like yo. Let my uncle take Absolutely. me to the barbershop. Absolutely. Let my uncle That's really take me to do these basketball drills. Like let my you know right. what I'm saying? Because yeah. I do. I think as much as I know, everybody wants to get away from traditional gender roles. To me, there are some things that when you're teaching your son or when you're teaching your daughter, that mm. traditional gender roles gonna come into play. We can pretend that's that it don't all we want. True. But it's, you know what? Because you know. I, I would I would say that I'm I'm not big on gender roles, but you're right. There are some things that just you guys say it is what it is. You know what I mean? That's something.